Hey guys, what is up? We're back again for another world tour from our, well, building series on Twitch, uh, where we do every Tuesday, again, I'll put the link here somewhere, um, for our Twitch channel. Every Tuesday, guys, we do a building series there, uh, where we do it with viewers. We have some awesome builds uh, that I've created. Some other people have also made some pretty cool ones as well. Uh, it's just a really fun way to get people involved in the Terraria building community, which is a big thing that I enjoy. So just feel free to click on that, come check us out. Uh, and obviously guys, if you want, please, you know, follow, feel free to follow or subscribe um, for more of these uh, series, some videos, any support obviously helps. So uh, with that out of the way, let's hop in. Okay guys, so our first build is, well, it's not the ocean. Um, I. This was here when I got here, but just slightly off to the side of the ocean, uh, we have a build that will incorporate these wonderful materials. Um, again, you guys can just take a look at them visually. If you have any questions about what the what any of them actually are, um, you know, just let me know in the comments. Uh, but guys, just as a couple things that are unique to the build, I would say that the Ebonwood bathtub is a unique part, as well as these flesh candles that are part of the build. Uh, you also need quite a bit of brown paint, as you'll see in a second. Um, so let's just go and check it out. So here's the build, guys. Um, I wanted to make a little beach hut town thing. So here are those Evanwood barrels that kind of make it look like a dock. Uh, that was kind of the effect I was going for. I, I, I think it worked. I think it worked. I think it looks okay. Uh, and then this is just uh, some bamboo fence um, that kind of makes it look like a ladder to get out of there. So uh, we try to give it some, some, yeah, some stuff. And guys, this is just sand on top of some sandstone. I didn't, again, I'm not gonna put all the blocks uh, that I use into that chest, just to give you a rough idea of what I'm using. Um, so I really want to make a small kind of quaint house for the our, our Miles, the fisherman, our angler, sorry. Um, so this staircase here, guys, is something that uh, I think, I could be wrong, but I know uh, Blue JT Gaming is someone that is a good builder. He actually, um, I think, did this originally, and I really loved it. So I basically just took it from him. Um, and I actually have uh, had a few opportunities to talk with him, and actually have, uh, we did a little play, playthrough together um but he's an awesome builder guys you should, if you haven't heard of him please go check him out that's blue jt gaming uh he streams as well uh here and there so uh, anyways guys so this build's really just about a little beach house as i said uh we're using a lot of different woods um not a lot of not a lot of other paints other than brown really um we got some this little here is a is a mahogany wall just to separate the room a bit we got some boreal uh, and we got some uh you know some um this is mahogany and some dynasty wood that we've actuated just to kind of make it look like it's sort of separated out. So, um, you know, just a bit of a different design. Uh, I want to make a cool little lookout and add a little sand castle and some trees. And, you know, just trying to make it look small and quaint and kind of, you know, fun. So um, if we take away our overlay, you can kind of get a better sense of it. Uh, and, yeah, I thought it was a cool build. I built this one a quite a while ago. Um, but, again, guys, I haven't been doing the world tours. I've been meaning to do them. So these videos will hopefully uh, be a little bit of a... Um, more recurring theme as we keep building things in our servers um, and, our, and during our Twitch streams as well. So um, that's this one. We'll move on to the next one. And yeah, if you guys have any questions about this one, please let me know. Happy to answer. All right, guys, here is our second build of the day. So, well, not of the day. These took a while to make. Um, obviously for YouTube purposes, it looks like I might've just created them out of thin air, but they actually do take me about a four or five hour session generally uh, while I'm also streaming and doing other things. So uh, don't 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 get it twisted. I, it takes me a while. So uh, this build is an interesting one. Uh, I've made a Sky Island before in my actual previous video. All right, no, my first, I think my first world tour included one. I have to double check, but there's a link to that and to the previous episode uh, above. I'll, I'll link those somewhere in chat here um, or in the video, I should say, and you guys can go check those out. Uh, but this build will, uh, it's basically another floating island. Uh, so there's some unique things. One of them is a little bit of, there's a little bit of meteorite brick under a little totem. Uh, and then uh, just there's this crumbling dirt wall as part of the island uh, that's floating in the sky. And obviously we had to use some cloud, some cloud wall, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And most of those stuff is pretty basic uh, materials. Again, just take a look at it. If you have any questions, comment down below and I will gladly answer. So let's take, take a quick little look and see what we made. Now, I really like the roof. Um, the island could look a little bit more realistic, you know, maybe a bit bigger or something. I really like this tree. I thought it turned out really cool. Um, the idea was to make like kind of like a different looking castle. It's still on the side, it's on the side of the beach here, guys, uh, just below our other build that we just showed you. Um, but I don't know, I just like the way this roof turned. I just kind of decided to go with a kind of crazy kooky pattern. These are just shingles, guys, that I just alternated the colors on uh, with white and blue. And I just really liked the way it turned out. Um, the idea here was just to have kind of like sort of a castle 
building construction you know area i guess it were as it were um, and these are bone doors as well um just so you know if you, anyone's wondering what those are uh, and then we put some we just put some columns here to make it look more supported i wanted to go with like a very like clean bright feel with the white so this is all painted white um these are bricks this is slab and this is uh this is dungeon brick uh, i believe this is pink dungeon brick and painted white so you need a lot of white paint for this build uh, if you're going to copy it. Uh, this tree is just painted pink uh, all over. I just thought it would be kind of funny to have that and make it look a bit different. Uh, and then we built this little bridge with some beam, mahogany, different fences and some rope. And that's really just, um, you know, painted brown, pretty straightforward. Uh, and this is palm wood platform in between. And I keep it unpainted because it gives it that green kind of used up look. And then here's a little shrine. So this is where the meteorites used um, just to kind of elevate it. And I put some stairs here on the side. It just kind of makes a different look. And this is one of the relics. I don't remember which one, but the book one. So find the book one um, if you want to do this. And then just some white banners to give it movement when you walk through. I thought it looked pretty good. Uh, and then I just made all these clouds on my own with just some cloud wall. I just kind of threw them around randomly. And it it gives it the right feel. Um, there's obviously some stuff we could add to this, make it look probably a bit better. But like any build, guys, it's like I don't like I've said before, I don't have a plan when I start these builds. I just kind of start doing them, and we kind of just go from there. So with any luck, with any luck, uh, we'll be able to you know get a sense of the blocks that we need when we continue to build. Now, if I'm going to build a castle, obviously I know I'm going to need some stone and some brick and a bit of wood and that kind of stuff, but I never really know the exact design until I kind of start playing around with it. So we'll go from there and uh, yeah, let's move on to the next build guys. And again, if you have any questions, let me know. All right, guys, here's a pretty cool build that we did for Halloween. Um, it's obviously been a while since, and that gives you an idea of how long it's been since I should have made some of these videos, but we're here. So what we did with this build is, as you'll see, we have all these different blocks. It was pretty comprehensive, but it's actually pretty simple build. Um, you'll see a lot of the texture here is just we're just separating stuff by adding, um, you know, we have some normal wood, some spooky wood wall. Then we have some mahogany wall, all painted brown. So it kind of blends, but it stands out. Um, that was sort of the idea. Uh, this is a great where we just sort of, I think we put some glass behind there as well and try to make our roof look like a little witch's hut. Um, and this is only one part of the build. We also built these trees um, just with um, putting some leaves, painting them purple, and then um, putting some, trying to put some stems here that are, well, trunks, I guess not stems, uh, that make it look more natural. Uh, and this is again, something that I, that I, I still need to work on. It's not great yet, but it, it adds a lot of ambience and some thickness and some size and some, I don't know, body to our build. So, um, so yeah, guys, that's all the, all the bricks you'll need. Again, you can take a look. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is a small little piece, but the main build is actually over here where we actually made a quite a large little house, haunted house kind of was the theme. Obviously Halloween, we try to make it look nice. Um, the only probably unique features here, I would say, other than the glass is this pumpkin, this is pumpkin wall, uh, that we, or no, pumpkin, I think this is pumpkin we just put down and we just kind of uh, actuated and put in the background and then kind of made it look like ripped up curtains. We could have painted this any color, I just left it orange. Um, and then also we have these, uh, these are boreal beams that just kind of support the house and the structure of the roof. And they look pretty good overall. And then we have more grates and some glass behind it for the fences. So you can kind of get a sense of the build. It's not humongous, it's not too big. Uh, I really like the way this roof turned out. This was just me kind of playing around with the design, adding, uh, slab here um stone slab uh i believe it's actually yeah this is either stone slab or uh stone slab accent here around just the contour uh i just kind of like the way it looks so it, it's kind of a cool thing i might add that to other builds down the down the road um and yeah we just kind of made this build look a little interesting and there's just uh, some other stuff over here a little bridge and that kind of stuff a lot of fog machines guys to give the fog i painted these brown to try to blend they're a little tricky to blend you need quite a lot of them but if you're not really focusing on them like here you can kind of get away with just kind of seeing that it adds a bit there's some in the trees and stuff it's it, I, I don't know if there's a better way to do it if someone knows how to make them more blended uh, you know then then definitely let me know because i think it kind of look kind of interesting so uh we'll go to our little final build uh for this episode guys and again if you have any questions you have any comments definitely leave them below and i'll try to get back to them all right guys uh here is our third build we're kind of keeping with the spooky theme um a little bit uh so here's the blocks you'll need um again this may not cover absolutely everything i also don't include decorations as you know don't worry about it uh you will need a bunch of actuators for this build as well um but you know 
but you'll, 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 you'll figure it out. Um, but basically nothing too unique here. Um, probably the most unique thing is that there's a bit of a, you have to use the bone one in a few places and there's a bit of living demon fire block in one or two spots as well. Uh, but in general, it's basically just made up of brick, some spooky wood, um, and some different slabs. There's obviously a stone accent and some stone slab. So this one's a pretty big build. Uh, I have never done a hell build before or, or demon build or whatever you want to call it. So we went down to our, uh, warmer climate and uh yeah we started building so uh here's what this looks like this is a uh, rather extensive i just wanted to make an area that was kind of like had a gallows and was kind of like the entrance and it's a bit creepy and again this is kind of a small build uh, i could have added some stuff but i wanted to make it feel like it was a big walk between some of these areas so as you can see there's nothing too crazy this is where we have our accent uh, stone slab accent see how it separates it kind of gives it a kind of a thicker bigger feel uh, and then just you know the walls here are just all um, different slab and you know just using a hammer some walls etc uh, i made this gals myself uh it actually turned out pretty good um it could have been a bit bigger or something but i just yeah i just kind of like the idea and this guy's supposed to be the guy watching over it um and then the roofing is just you know you can unpaint this is all this is painted shingles painted black and this is just some um uh spooky wood just left unpainted so try to make everything look kind of big and robust and, and kind of like that and then this guy's is actually some uh, more bone wall and some this is i believe tendril wall that's another probably unique one uh and again guys this is all in journey mode so if you have any questions or if you're building again let me know in the comments below um and then here we try to make a bridge that was like kind of symmetrical uh this is just evan stone uh, this is palladium column uh some spooky uh wood um platforms uh and yeah some more of our wonderful stone slab accent i think that's what's called anyways so this is the continuation we have more of the bridge we have these cool design here it's just again made to be creepy and dungeony and bad um we kind of went again with uh, hanging. Uh, again, this is I just kind of put this together. Uh, this is just some, I believe, uh, copper plating that we put black. Everything here is painted black in the background with some fence and some raw iron fence on the edges. Uh, and then just put up some of these uh, skeleton guys that you can find in the dungeon. So I just made a couple of those. Made a kind of a weird framing thing here just to kind of fill the space a bit. And then we're to our main build here. So this main build, uh, I decided I want to make kind of a large tower. So you can see, guys, it's pretty big on the map. Um, this goes up pretty high. There's nothing too crazy. And these are each of the skeletons. So, um, you know, here's just, again, just the same kind of design and roof. I try to keep it looking the same. I want to make this tower look like you go up. A, um, again, this is all actuated, so you can actually go through all of this. That was kind of the idea. Um, and it goes into the jungle, so we don't, you know, we don't want to go up too, too high. Um, but this build, yeah, is got, here's our, our uh, demon flame. Um, and we've got the lava through the background, some glass, and there's nothing too crazy here, guys. It's just a big build. Um, I really like this part. So this part is interesting because this is all actuated or pushed to the background, but this is sort of connected and it makes it look like all this is in the foreground and this is in the background. And I think it adds a lot of like depth to my build as opposed to doing, um, you know, a tower here and a tower here, this kind of crosses over into it. And so I, I just really like the way it looks and it's a design and an element that I think I'm gonna try to incorporate to some of my bigger builds in the future. It does take a bit more work, um, but it, I don't know, just, I like it, you know? Hopefully you guys like this build. Um, I think it's a pretty cool one. It's nothing um, that I don't think anyone couldn't kind of replicate. Um, it did take a while, guys. This I don't build, as I said, these builds don't come together in a, in you know one sitting usually. Uh, and my every time I sit down and I'm streaming and doing this, um, you know, it's one of those things that it might take a few, uh, it might take a few hours. All right, guys. So that'll do it for episode three. Episode three of our uh, Terraria World Tour. Guys, again, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. I'm happy to answer them. Um, and again, guys, we stream uh, our Terraria Tuesday is every, um, I don't know why I did quotation marks. Our Terraria Tuesday is on Tuesdays. We stream on Twitch, link in the description down below, I believe. Um, and you guys can go check that out if you wanna participate, if you wanna get some building ideas. We also have a Discord server that has a bunch of images of people's builds. Um, I highly recommend you go check those out. Um, but in the meantime, guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you next time, whenever that might be. Peace.